The webbing technique is a way for you to unpick a challenge that you've been given and to understand it better. So if you've been given something that's really big and you don't really know what all the different angles are, if something's a bit kind of um, foggy and unclear, if you don't know where to start and where the priorities are for it, um, then this is the right technique to use. And it allows you to unpick the idea and look at it Rather than looking at just one side of it, it's like a cut diamond. You get to see every different angle of, of that idea. And it allows you to see, right, which bits do I need to do first? Um, and most importantly, for creativity, which bit really matters to you? Because ideas will only come from you or someone else if you genuinely care about the challenge. So I'm going to use this technique, which I call webbing, on something that was really personal and important to me, which was how to get on TV during the London Marathon. And you simply ask two additional questions to what you normally would. Why is this important? And what's stopping me or us to achieve what we're trying to achieve? So firstly, why is it important for me to get on TV during the London Marathon? You may guess. Um, how to raise more money. So that might be a reason. And then you ask again, so why is it important for me to raise more money? Um, how to impress my friends? Another reason might be um, how to um, show my children what I've achieved. And then you ask again, the same question again. So you're asking the same question there as you did here. So why is it important for me to show my children what I've achieved? And this is unfortunately very true. How to feel less guilty for not being there <laughs> and always running for hours and hours in the evenings. So you can see very quickly how both this one and this one, as you go up, and ask the question again, go straight to the heart. It, it explains why you care so much about this particular challenge. Then you go down and you think about, right, well, what's stopping you or what's stopping us? So what's stopping me is how to stand out. And what's stopping me standing out? How to um, be seen over a crowd. What else is stopping me? How to know where the cameras are? And what's stopping me there? Well, how to be friends with the camera crew. Or get that inside information. So you can see how very quickly it starts to kind of take your one challenge and open it up into many. And then you've really got to decide if you do this, what you'll find is from one thing, you've got lots of different challenges. And you'll notice I've written them as questions, and that's a really important trick. Because if you write things as just the element, so if I write things as standing, I, you know, what, what's stopping me? What's stopping me is that there's a massive crowd. That doesn't help me at all to think about how to solve it. If I write how to stand out, then as you'll see from my picture, you'll see that what I chose to do was to wear an absolutely massive headdress. 